I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is, is that your black cat? I take three fingers in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line up, curve line over, curve line down, little curve line off the page. I come back to the dot. I draw straight line down, curve line over, curve line down, little curve line out off the page. Come over here on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a big curve line, little curve line, connect on the right, jump over, big curve line, little curve line, connect on the left. Inside I draw one curve line on the left and one curve line on the right. Right about here in the middle I'm going to draw a curve line straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, and then I'm going to draw a little curve line to the right, little curve line to the left. I'm going to draw one, two, three straight lines on the right, one, two, three straight lines on the left. I come over here on the right and I'm just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line on the right, Come over here on the left and I'm going to go wavy, wavy line on the left, okay? Come all the way over here on the left and we're going to draw a big curve line in, out, off the page. Come right here at this indentation and we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line in, connect. Come right over here behind it and we're going to draw another curve line up in, down, connect. Right here we're going to draw a curve line up, curve line over, curve line in, connect. And if you have room, big curve, or little curve line really, curve line, connect, little curve line up, over, down, connect. Come over here on the left hand side if you have room, put a dot. From that dot, draw a curve line down, up, curve line back, connect. In the background, we're going to put little baby circles. If you have room, jump over, little baby circles, keep going, fill in your background. There we go. One more thing. Now come up to the first space and draw a curve line down, curve line down, bam, it crashes in. Don't draw through your drawing. Curve line, jump over, curve line, continue. Come up to the next one. Curve line down, curve line, bam, it crashes. Don't draw through it. Curve line down, connect. One more time. Curve line down, Curve line, curve line down, connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to color in my nose purple. And then I'm going to color the big part of my eye yellow. Left and right, yellow. And with my yellow out, I'm going to do my half moon space up here. Then I'm going to take orange and I'm just going to color this little tiny space next to the yellow orange. And since I have this out, I'm going to color this space. Now, this is a lot of coloring, so some of you might want to draw first session and then color second session and maybe take your time. You can divide it up. And I'm also doing a loop-de-loop -loop line, which is a controlled scribble-scrabble 
going around and around inside the space this does not hurt your hand as much it also adds a little bit of texture to whatever it is you're coloring okay so that's one this is space number two and you'll do a better job than me as always okay all the way up down up over this is our last one space there we go okay now with my green I do my tops and again like I said you'll color it in way better than me and finally we have our black cat now if you color it lightly you'll still see that he's a black cat you also won't hurt your hand and you can still see the details that you did like his whiskers and the inside of his ears but you want to make sure he looks like a black cat not a gray cat so you kind of want to make sure he looks black okay then the last part is kind of your decision because this time I'm going to color in my background but it's like okay what color do I do it you could do this background part black you could do it blue I decided to do it purple so coloring around the baby circles I'm coloring in my background purple and that's my final color and this is also an exercise in foreground middle ground and background your cat and the pumpkin are big and they're part of the foreground your middle pumpkins are the middle ground and your moon and stars are your background okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here is my is that your cat colored in you can see I did this part dark and this part dark it's up to you make your choices you are the artist okay bye bye